Alright guys, this is it. Match 100 in round 5 of the Season 5 AI Tournament. It's going to be between Gagnon and True Light. Gagnon has Knives the Ninja, uh, Paviani the Oracle, uh, Papea the Geomancer, and Fargo the Bard. And True Light has Azura the Archer, Skeet the Ninja, Rika the Time Mage, and Kanade the Priest. I've already went over both teams in their previous matches, so no need for me to go over them again. We're going to be going to map 41, Burst of Rodeo's house. Here we go. A bit of a toss up here, a bit of a pick em here, actually. Gagnon so far undefeated here in this tournament. True Light does have um, an impressive number of wins under his belt as well. Can he be the one to, to find knockdown Gagnon? We'll find out right now. Legging misses off the bat. That's a bad start for True Light. See what Rika can do. She's gonna go for a comet. You know, earth some early sniping damage. The Oracle's immune to the priest's holy and uh, dark holy and dia combo. So she got to, so the priest can only hope for a frog if she wants to get the Oracle on a commission. Cheery. Time age blocks it. That's very good for True Light here. The Priest is going to go for a Dia on the Geo. Does actually hit right through all that magic evade. She needs a counter flood for her troubles, though. And a quick and a very powerful cure spell from the Bard. Must be high faith and best compact going on. Leg aim misses there. That was 63%. Ninja on Ninja. Violence over counter. Ouch. Gagdan may truly pay for it right there. Ouch, and a crit shot. Denying truly that HP restore. It looks like that Gagnon's got a very early lead here. Oh, don't move, Proc. Oh, but don't act. Ouch. I don't know if uh, going for Dark Hole would be the wisest choice because that Geomancer has a lot of magic evade. And she can still dodge all, all those shots as well. Time is look could be looking for a lit chair. Oh, it takes down the ninja, actually. And Dark Lord takes down the Geomancer, so True Light could be um, fighting his way back in this thing. The archers still don't act it, though, so that's very unfortunate. I don't think he would have been able to hit anybody, anyways. Time is looking for another lich. He needs to keep going for those liches. It hits all three again. Down goes the bard. True Light might be on his way to finally taking down Gaignan here in round one. Again, Gaignan's not lost a single round. So this is True Light's chance here to make that happen. If the, if the time can just keep hitting those liches, I think True Light will be, will be in good shape. There's another wall though, but Lich does not care about Protect or Shell. And down, go, and down goes the Oracle. The Bard is still right there for the raise, though. Oh, but he gets stopped. This is True Light's moment right here, right now, guys. Time Age is going to be looking for another Lich, but although the odds are not very good. Ouch, that ninja just made sure that... Uh... Oh! Lich actually hits again! The archer is using Phoenix down. That time age has been true life saving grace here this entire match. Those liches have been hitting left and right. The ninja's back. The priest is looking for looks to be a cure too. Skeef though cannot cannot capitalize. He's gonna get in on the cure three action. Archer will be right there to all right. He's gonna attack the bar. There's a cure two. Ninja's all healed up. But True Light is definitely, definitely in the driver's seat right now. That Geomancer is still down. Bar has a race too, though, so Gaidan's showing he has some fight left in him. Oh, but Sinkhole! Not gonna happen today, Mr. Fargo. And, wow, stop rocking the ninja. This is, True Light is hitting Gaidan in all the right spots. Crit shot, a little payback right there. And wow, Truly just took down Gagnon here at round one. 
Can he do it again here in round two? Alright, round two is about to begin right now as we are in map 106, Delta. Uh, last match, that time mage was definitely MVP for True Light. She keep hitting those liches over and over again. To the point where True Light was able to actually overwhelm Gaignan in a very short amount of time. Pretty much almost everything went in True Light's favor, but that everything was just enough for you know, that one round victory. Gaignan now is at a one mat is one of one round disadvantage for the first time in this tournament. But don't count out just yet. His team is proven to be very strong against against several teams already. Bar is gonna prepare Magic Song. That will probably give True Light, uh, I'm sorry, Gaignan the winning edge. If those Magic Songs keep hitting. Ninja's rushing forward the rest of the head of the team. Hopefully the Oracle and the Bar can keep up. And the Geomancer can just finish off. Bar is still staying the Magic Song. Time Age is gonna be right there for what? A Demi. Hit the bar for a minuscule amount. Counter flood. Ouch. That has to really hurt. God damn. And the time age will go down. Yep. That counter flood really set the ninja up big time. There's a wall. Like I don't think it exactly matters. There's a raise one. Ninja will be right there though to harass. Uh, True Light's team while the Geomancer slowly approaches. Don't act proc though, that would definitely slow him down. Time Age will fall back. Gonna go for a Lich, it looks like. Oh, but there's a Dia. Ouch, no blind proc. That's lucky for True Light right there. Lich takes down the Ninja. Oracle should be right. No, the Oracle's not in range for a race two. There's Piety though. It did work in Trillet's favor last time with the time age spam and Lich. We'll see if that can happen again. Lich actually hits the Geomancer, counter flood, no petrify proc. Ninja's being quite passive so far. Time age to look for a comet. Bard's gonna be busy going for a race two. Comet does hit. And Oracle's gonna be looking for a wall instead. Gaignan's actually on the defensive right now, and True Light is definitely pressing forward with his advantage. Down goes the Geomancer. True Light might actually be the one to hand in Gaignan's first loss here in this tournament. Ninja's back up though, so Gaignan's not out of the fight just yet. Down goes the Archer. Oh, no! No, but the Archer's poisoned. Dia, no blind proc because the ninja has the vanish mantle, which means he can avoid being blinded. Healing staff whack from the time mage, and the archer has, is going to have to heal himself. But that ninja definitely is going to be a little bit of a problem for True Life for now. Perhaps I might have spoken too soon. True, uh, Gaignan still in this fight. Skeef though, whack. There's a zombie? And undead proc in the time mage. Now that organs need to land a race too, and she'd be golden. He's just wore off. Uh, see, Comet. Oh, but there's a nasty Cheery. Ouch. Dark Holy coming up. It was able to hit the Geomancer last time. I don't know if that will happen again this time. Raise two from the Oracle. Uh, Bard will probably snipe down the time. Oh. Here on the Time Mage. Yep, on Dead Time Mage. There's Dark Holy. No, she blocked it. Counterflood Petrified Proc. Leg aim hits. So Gaidan's back ahead four on three. But that ninja, whack, whack. Wall in the Archer, making sure that he can survive a, a couple more shots. Stopping the Oracle. Kotetsu, that priest with, with that auto shell, keeping her in the fight. But Dia will drop her. Trulay's all of a sudden back. Trulay's all of a sudden in trouble. Don't act proc this time on the Geomancer, and don't move just wore off. So this could go honestly either way right now. 
Dark Proc of the Oracle! My god! True Light is showing True Light is trying to show Gagnon who's boss. Lege misses there. I'm not sure why the Archer didn't try to revive the priest. And the Oracle will go. Oracle's not yet dead. Um, someone just crystallized that's the time age, unfortunately. For True Light. So True Light's permanently down one unit. Bard's gonna sneak in and grab the crystal. But, oh no, Geiger's ninjas. Night Geiger's ninjas gone as well, so. Now it's even up three on three. Ninja decides not to pursue the Oracle, strangely enough. I'm not sure why. Maybe the ninja realizes that the bard's a bit more of a threat right now. Archer's in the middle of sandbag mode. The ninja is still trying to get in range, but he can't right now. Another wall. This is getting really interesting now. Will the priest be able to even get a turn in? That's the question. It doesn't look like she will. Nope. Cheery! Ouch. Auto potion and an HP restore. That ninja should do what he does best and that's Brock. Oh, he can't. Oh, Petrify Proc. No, no Petrify Proc. That's a close call for True Light. Gaiden is considered to be lucky right now that Geomancer's still alive. Oh boy, this is getting tense right now. Regen, okay. Ninja, bam, bam, okay. True Light is trying to clutch this battle as fast as he freaking can. The bard is still right there for the race too, though. So it would be True Light's best interest to definitely get rid of that bar, but there's the uh, blind rage, it looks like. The blind rage. If... Oh boy. If that priest can land an Asuna on the ninja, assuming it hits, then that could be exactly what True Light wants here. But Blind Rage thankfully misses. Don't act proc the bard! I think True Light just might have clutched this match. Gagnon in some serious, serious trouble right now. Those on act procs are really hitting it home for True Light, and Donak happens again! Down goes the bard, and this is it! True Light's got this, guys! Oh, looking for a frog? Yep, that'll definitely be the end right here, right now. And frog lands, it's over. That was icing on the cake right there. Woo! A very intense round too. That was so intense I could hear both players breathing. Heavily. Don't move just to make sure that that frog can't run away. And yeah, this is it. Congratulations, True Light! You have taken down the Gaignan here. As you go up 5-0 here in the Season 5 Tournament, Gaignan now falls 4-1. GG, both of you.